Look at my muscle, baby. Come on, AJ. Adam. Oh, he got that spear. Quick spear. Holy moly. Oh, boy, Batista. By gosh, big Batista bomb to John Cena. Five moves of doom. By gosh. Five moves of doom. By gosh. Here we go, the proto Plex. Here we go. Oh. Stay down. Yeah. What is up, Nola Squad? I'm Nola God. Welcome to that episode of 30 Years of WrestleMania, and we are at WrestleMania 26. The universe era continues. We got Chris Jericho versus Edge, March 28, 2010, Glendale, Arizona, World Heavyweight Championship. So here's a brief analysis of this match, of this feud, Chris Jericho versus Edge. So these two men were once unified tag team champions until Edge suffered an unexpected injury. It might have been an injury related to his neck, I'm not sure. But he had to vacate the championships. Then when Edge left, Jericho decided to talk trash behind Edge back. You know, Jericho ended up he ended up distancing himself from Edge and he he took all the credit for their team's accomplishments. Then later Edge returned at the Royal Rumble 2010 and he won the Rumble. Three weeks after the Rumble, Jericho won the World Heavyweight Championship at the Elimination Chamber. Then afterwards, on the Raw after Elimination Chamber, Edge announced that he was going to face his former partner Jericho for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 26. And he ended up, you know, as you see in the photo, he speared him. Pretty much giving him a little hint of what to expect that mania. But here we go, Chris Jericho versus Edge. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Ooh, and this arena. For the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, the rated R superstar, Edge. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a nine-time world champion. Edge won this year's Royal Rumble, which gave Edge the opportunity to pick which champion he wanted to face here at WrestleMania. Chris Jericho won the World Heavyweight Championship inside the Elimination Chamber. So what does Edge do on the next Monday Night Raw? He spears Jericho and says, I want to face you. Uh, he's the ultimate opportunist, JR. Yep, right around this time, this was Edge's, I, I believe Edge officially became a face again when he returned at the Rumble. He got such a big pop. From Winnipeg, Here we go. Canada, Break the walls. Pounds, the world heavyweight champion, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is a six-time world champion. A Man, it's been a while since I've seen this entrance. Intercontinental champion and one of the greatest superstars to ever grace the WrestleMania ring. Well, Jericho maintains that it is genetics that make him better than Edge. Is Edge prone to physically breaking down? That's the question. 72,219 WWE fans here tonight in Glendale, Arizona. And the WWE Universe watching from all over the world in places like Jericho and Edge's home country, Canada, also New Zealand and Mexico, Spain, Romania, the whole world, God damn it. And of course, on the Armed Forces Network. What a night! What a WrestleMania the world is witnessing! Here we go, ladies and gents. Let's get it. Chris Jericho versus Edge. Talk about Edge is out of the ring. Right, let's let's do a little little damage to Edge. Let's throw him out the ring first. Let's get this let's get this objective out the way. Oh, I mean, uh, throw him into the buckle. I will say one thing: Jericho has had probably one of the best wrestling evolutions. Like he 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 evolved so so well, and he's still here to this day. You know, doing what he's doing AEW. His look has changed. His appearance has changed. He you know his move set has evolved somewhat. <laughs> Oh, not too much. You know, he added the Judas, the Judas effect in 2019, but that was a big addition to his uh, move set, new finisher. Here we go. Come on, baby. Here we go. Turn outside the ring. Well, turn while he was out the ring, got that done. Perform a lion tamer. Uh. Here we go. Headlock from Edge. Get your butt down. Uh. Here we go. Picking his ass up. Oh, big drop kick. I never actually seen this match before. I'm familiar with this feud, but I've never I've never seen this match. 
I'm playing as Jericho, so I, I'm not sure how Jericho won. I thought Edge might have won this match. I guess, I guess not. Oh, nice little arm drag there. Here we go. Here we go. And neck break to the neck of Edge. Look at my muscle, baby. Come on, AJ. Adam. And one thing these two currently have in common is that they're both in AEW right now. Edge is Adam Copeland and Chris Jericho is Chris Jericho. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. It's Lion, the Lion Tamer should be his finisher. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure. Okay, it's the second. It's, it's uh, Yeah, second finisher. Okay. Oh. Here we go. Let's go for it. Here we go. Come on, man. Type out. Type out. Type out. Type out. I don't know how the hell Edge got to say. He's been kicking his ass. He's got to perform that one cold breaker and then go for the pin. No, sir. Uh. Sleeper hole slam. Beautiful. Uh. Disrespecting Edge. You should have stayed on top of I me. Mean, you should have stayed injured. You should have stayed injured. Was this Edge's last WrestleMania before he had to retire? No, it was, it was 27. The one he had against Alberto Del Rio. That was his last one. Oh, no, no. Oh. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh. Oh, he got that spear. Quick spear. Holy moly. Kick out game should be okay. Okay, good, good. We straight, we straight. Uh. He got that. Oh, my gosh. DDT from Edge. That 2010 Rumble return he had was pretty badass. Uh, he had the freaking beard and stuff. As a matter of fact, I didn't think about this till now. The guy, he, that, the guy that was in the ring when he returned was Jericho. Here we go, here we go. Oh, to the head. Here we go. My gosh, Chris Jericho going for the lion saw across the ring. Get your ass up. Here we go. Toad breaker. Come on, baby. I don't know what happened. <laughs> that frame dropped, though, but we got it. That was too easy. Your winner and still world heavyweight champion, Chris Jericho. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Jericho retains the title. But Edge felt like a world champion here tonight. He was game. He gave it his all and fell ever so slightly short of his goal. Something tells me this isn't the last time Edge will hold championship gold, JR. The ultimate opportunist will strike again. Mark my words. Oh, crap. I wasn't expecting this match. John Cena versus Batista. WrestleMania 26 continues. March 28, 2010, Glendale, Arizona, WWE Championship. It's been so long since I've looked into this feud. I, like, I have no memory of like what, what led to this feud. It's, it's so interesting. I'm glad I'm able to look back and read what led up to what happened. So Cena and Batista's feud started when Batista attacked Bret Hart from behind. Cena tried to come to the help. Cena tried to come to the rescue to help Bret Hart, but Batista ended up attacking John as well. John Cena actually ended up winning the WWE Championship from Sheamus in an Elimination Chamber match. Right after the match, Vince McMahon ordered another title match, and he... Batista ended up coming out and it ended up being Batista versus Cena for the WWE Championship and Batista ended up winning it and it says he won it with ease because you know Cena was obviously exhausted from being in an Elimination Chamber match you know Super Cena was, was he wasn't super no more <laughs> after that on February 22nd 2010 episode of Raw Vince pretty much gave Cena another opportunity at winning the championship again if he beat the champion in a non-title match on Raw that day during their non-title match on Raw Batista intentionally disqualified himself. I guess he really wanted to face Cena at WrestleMania or inflict more pain or prove a point. Batista had a motive, so he ended up disqualifying himself and, you know, by low-blowing Cena, which gave Cena the victory. But here we go, John Cena versus Batista. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. And he had that spotlight entrance. From Washington, D.C., Weighing 290 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Animal Batista. Put it on me. Ladies and gentlemen, it's rather ironic that Batista has been craving the spotlight in recent weeks. And here tonight, here he comes in a lone spotlight. 
25 times the WWE title has been defended at WrestleMania. 15 times it changed hands. But King, I can't really recall a buildup in the history of WrestleMania that has been as lopsided as this has. Batista has been absolutely dominant. I think you're right. It's physical domination and mental domination. I think somehow, and not many people have been able to do it, but somehow Batista has gotten inside John's head. Cena knows he's gonna face Batista tonight, and he knows he's in for the fight of his life against the animal. I've walked for miles inside this pit of danger. And introducing the challenger from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing 240 pounds, John Cena. It is the salute to the WWE Universe as John Cena is ready to battle for the WWE title. You know, I just talked about doubt, but right now, I don't see an ounce of doubt on the face of Cena. He looks like a new man. John Cena has said he lives for moments like this, lives for moments like WrestleMania. All right, here we go, John Cena versus Batista. I'm playing this, okay, I'm playing this Cena. Okay, here we go. Hit a diving five knuckle shuffle on Batista, submit Batista with the STL. Okay, minimal objectives. Ladies and gentlemen, for these two men, their careers Get your ass off of Batista. Um, you know, I think around this time in 2010, maybe 09, Batista started hitting that submission. It was called the uh, Beast Bite. I remember in one promo, he well, I think he ambushed Cena one day, well, one night on Raw, and I remember he ended up hitting that move on Cena. I don't know if he hit it in this, during his matches around that time, but uh, that's that's the only memory I have of that move. Oh. I wonder what was his inspiration, you know, to use that submission. Like, what led to him using that? Who, who did he get it from? I know a lot of wrestlers get moves from guys in New Japan and stuff, or just from the indies in general. Like CM Punk, for an example, he started using... The G he got the GTS from Kenta. Brian Danielson, he got the running knee from Kenta. Is walking out of WrestleMania, the WWE champion. Here we go. Oh, winds of change from Batista. What you got, Dave? Oh. Here we go. Batista doing. I'm oh, kicking the stomach. Eyes whoop. Here we go. Cena going on top. Finna go for that diving leg drop. Oh, here we go. And. Damn! Cena better be careful. Last time he tried to hit that on Batista, Batista ended up turning that into a Batista bomb. SummerSlam 2008. And Cena got injured after that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. To the ribs. Oh! Uh. Smash that head up. Here we go. Reversal. Here we go. Oh! John Cena King, I believe he's got to get on. It's been, it's been about what John five years Cena's since Batista had his last match. He went against Triple H at WrestleMania, WrestleMania 35. Batista remembers it. That was actually a pretty decent match. I do remember that funny moment uh, in that entrance uh, that he had. Uh, he tripped over the rope while getting in the ring, and I remember Shawn Michaels was like, "Oh my God, <laughs> that shit was hilarious." Batista said to Cena, "You can't beat me. Deep down, you know it." But perhaps some self the only thing Batista is missing is a Hall of Fame induction. He was supposed to have had it like what a few years, like I think when in 2020. But um, I'm not sure what happened. I don't know. If, I don't know if COVID got in the way of it or he uh, he just decided to pull out of it. I think he wasn't on good terms with WWE or Triple H. I don't know. Can't remember the actual reasons. Here we go. See they're going on top. You can't see me, but gosh, diving five knuckles shuffle to the head of John. I mean of Batista. How the hell did I, did I just get the names mixed up? Uh, 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 uh. Batista got resiliency, bro. I know if I go for this STF. F, and I'm going to take that risk. Why not? Oh, he reversed it. Crap. He got to finish. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Batista. Oh, my gosh. Big Batista bomb to John Cena. One more time in case you missed. Batista looking to end this one early. No, Ooh, kicked out of that. Let's go. John Cena will never give I'm up. glad it wasn't going too I'm fast. Oh. Big clothesline. Big clothesline ain't quicker than mine. Come on. Mm. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Reversal. Right, we need that sig. Hit a little, hit a little, hit a little, hit a little taunts, you know. Oh. 
That wasn't the perfect time. But we managed to regain that offense. Uh, big punch. Ah. Here we go. Oh, reversal. Cena's going to go for that big grab. Not, oh, oh, here we go. Batista with the double-handed. Choke slam to the back of John. Why are you pinning me off that? You think that's going to beat John? It's Super Cena, but what? Super motherfucking Cena. You pinning me off a little, a little, a little choke slam? That ain't nothing. That's minimal. That's basic. Oh. Come on. Get your ass off me. Little belly to belly suplex. Yeah, I should have hit my comeback. Oh, I got my sig now. Okay. Uh. Here we go. I used to call this the Power Ranger suplex. I don't know why I call it that. It's, 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 I've been calling it that since I was younger. The Cena suplex. Call it the Power Ranger suplex. Oh, my gosh. And I saw that coming. Yep, resiliency. It's all good. I got to come back. I can get that back real quick. Five moves of doom. By gosh. Five moves of doom. By gosh. Here we go. The proto plex. Perfect transit. Oh. Oh, big clothesline from Dave. No, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, reversal. Oh, big elbow to the head. Drop kick. Turn your ass over. That's game over right there. That's it. And that's game over. We submitted Batista with the STF. The animal has been slayed, has been defeated. WWE Champion, John Cena. John Cena has exercised his demons. He has slain the animal. John Cena has proven that he can beat Batista to become a nine-time champion. Champ is here. Oh, what a victory. And now we have one of the best, or arguably the best, WrestleMania match of all time. The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. Glendale, Arizona, March 28, 2010. No DQ career versus streak. So these two originally fought at the previous WrestleMania, WrestleMania 25, which Shawn Michaels lost. That that loss didn't sit well with Shawn. Shawn felt like he was this close to beating Undertaker. So at the Slammy Awards in 2010, he pretty much threw the rematch out. He threw out the challenge. A month after Shawn's proposal, Taker just declined it. After Taker refused to face Shawn Michaels in a rematch, Shawn became more obsessed with the idea of facing him again more than ever. It got so extreme that Shawn Michaels ended up interfering in Taker's Elimination Chamber match and he gave him a super kick, which caused the Undertaker to get eliminated in that chamber match. And it cost Taker the World Weight Championship. And pretty much the following night on Raw, Taker accepted Shawn's challenge, you know, and Taker had a reason to, you know, beat Shawn's ass again. But Taker said, if you lose Shawn, your career is over. And it was later announced that it was going to be no DQ, no countouts, all that good stuff. Anyway, here we go. Taker versus Shawn Michaels, the rematch. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the streak versus career match. The only way to win is by pinfall or submission. Making his way to the <laughs> ring from San Antonio, Texas, weighing 227 pounds, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. As the sun sets in the Arizona desert, is it setting on the career of Shawn Michaels? We may be witnessing the last walk to the ring at WrestleMania for a man who defined the term Mr. WrestleMania. For a quarter of a century, 25 years, Shawn Michaels has entertained the WWE Universe. This is the 17th WrestleMania for Mr. WrestleMania. Is it all going to end tonight? Shawn Michaels is arguably the most decorated superstar in WWE history. But for the last year, Shawn Michaels has felt unfulfilled. Shawn Michaels has said his career means nothing if he cannot defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. The eyes of the world are on this match tonight. The eyes of the world are on WrestleMania. 
Sean had an amazing entrance, like his actual entrance, not the one we just saw, but his actual entrance in the actual match. It was pretty good. It was like a heaven-like entrance. It was dope. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing 299 pounds, The Undertaker. I don't know if there's anything more awe-inspiring than to see The Undertaker enter this huge stadium in front of over 70,000 of our fans here tonight. I mean, it's bone-chilling to see him make his way slowly and methodically to this ring. Oh, he is truly a once-in-a-lifetime superstar, The Undertaker. There is reverence here tonight for both of these men. But for The Undertaker, all good things could come to an end. He is 17-0 at WrestleMania. It is the greatest streak of all time. During that streak, the dead man has defeated 10 former world champions. And it does not appear that Shawn Michaels is intimidated whatsoever. Shawn was ready. All right, so here we go. Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. Rest me to 26. And I'm playing as the dead man, of course. You're finna kick Shawn Michaels' ass. You're finna end his career once and for all. So the first objective is to perform a tombstone outside of the ring. We're gonna get this finisher real fast if we could get some offense in. Come on. Yeah, the Undertaker refused. He said thanks. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Reversal shoulder block. Come on. Come on. HBK was sent reeling after You made a grave mistake in appearing in my championship match. Therefore I shall kill you. For the elimination chamber. And in your career. Then kill you. Allowing Chris Jericho to win the world heavyweight You're not worthy of the match you lost last year. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Here we go, here we go. Nice reversal. Oh, to the ribs. And he's like the damage. We also have a second objective. We have to whip grab him by the announce table while he's moderate. Come on, come on. Uh. Reversal. Mm. Nice uppercut. Taker just uppercut him in his lip. Gave him a little quickie on the jaw. The dead man. Uh. Throwing, them, throwing them strikes. Throwing them bows. Oh. Here we go. Oh, reversal. You got to watch out for that super kick. And Sean's pretty quick. Sean Look at it. Whooping, whooping at it. Beating him up. Here we go. Here we go. And I take him with the outside the dive when we missed him. Let's do this objective first. We ain't got the finish yet. So let's do this, uh, this announce tape objective. Here we go. Boom for the last ride. Not here. Sean Michaels in trouble. Oh. Well, take a soul, man. You can't pin him out here on the table. Wait a minute. Wait. What, what, what is he doing? What is Shawn Michaels thinking here? Michaels, top rope. Undertaker and Here we go. Oh. Moonsault. Moonsault. Undertaker, ladies and gentlemen, right here in front of us. Grabbing and grasping at that injured leg. His leg's broken. I think his leg is broken. Shawn Michaels sacrificing his body, but not only that, attempting to sacrifice on the sacrifice on the taker's leg. Oh, he misjudged oh. the range on that one. Here we go. Here we go. We have objective three unlocked, which is that jumping tombstone, I believe. Use a tombstone and pin combo on HBK critical. Sometimes that last hidden objective, like the fourth one, it'd be kind of pointless. It's basically a pit him in 10 seconds, <laughs> and that's it. Come on, here we go. Big punch. Here we go, DDT to Michaels. Come on, where that, where that Sig at, though? Where that Sig at, though? Here we go. Here we go. You were supposed to have gone through this table. You've got lucky. Last round to the back of Sean. The Undertaker is oh boy, here we go. HBK. Undertaker. Like the here we go. Undertaker ain't playing. My gosh. Tombstone. Pile driver on the outside of the ring. 
and Sean is critical, critically damaged. Broken freaking neck. Damn near. Sean, sees the opening. Sean with the whip. What is Sean doing? Oh, big elbow to the head. Back into the ring here, we go, here we go. Oh, oh, reversal. And oh, big flying forearm from Sean. Vintage Sean. No, sir. Uh, none of that. Uh, uh, throw them blows. Throw them both. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. It was a nice little reversal there. That's like a best a pinfall move, but he didn't go for the pin. Come on, come on, come on. Break his damn arm. Caught in the arm bar at this point. Oh, he got that comeback. And he strikes with a quick kick. He got that. Oh, he got that. Why? Oh, I got it. Oh, wow. I didn't think I was going to get it. Holy moly. Oh, he still got the comeback. Crap. Nah, nah. No, I'm fine. Getting away from you. He got that. Shawn Michaels was this big hurricane right out to the back of Undertaker. Did Shawn Michaels learn something about the Undertaker on. last mm. year that will help Michaels whoop his ass, whoop his ass, whoop his ass. You would have to think so, JR. Uh, I mean, Shawn Michaels has played uh, that match over his head sig. probably a thousand times. He's dissected. Here we go. Taker got him exactly where he wants him. Pin combo. Tombstone pile driver. Tombstone pile driver. Chris. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he kicked out. Oh, and the Undertaker is in sense. <laughs> Look at his face. The Undertaker what the hell? Can't believe it. HBK kicked out at the very last second. Oh, the Undertaker must be wondering, what does he have to do to put HBK away? Oh, the slap. Many superstars have tried to defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, and none has succeeded. Never count out Shawn Michaels, JR. Stay down. Uh oh. Easy. Yeah, that's sure. the slap to The Undertaker, as if to say, this isn't over. No block. Uh -oh. oh, here we go. He slapped the shit out of The Undertaker, now Taker going for the big tombstone. That's it. Game over. He's done it. He's done it. I can't believe it. He's finally done it. Here is your winner, The Undertaker. Ladies and gentlemen, we just defeated Shawn Michaels. Shawn yeah. Michaels. King rarely does a match live up to its expectations. Does a match live up to its height? I believe tonight. What we saw was that and so much more. Oh, it way surpassed what anyone could have expected. Uh.